Yeah. Yeah, we we are getting there. We are online. Welcome everyone. Nice to have five members so far on the panel uh, on World Book Day. And everyone has a stake in publishing uh, in this small state of Goa. We are very happy to have you here. Today, what 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 my thought was is that generally World Book Day becomes just another token day. You know, where we say good things about books and we all agree on it and things like that. So I thought, why not get publishers together and, uh, you know, have a more free and frank discussion about the state of books in Goa. Uh, we don't necessarily have to say bad things. Uh, we don't necessarily have to be critical. Uh, we can look at the positive and the negative and we can say, see things which are going wrong. Uh, it's open to all of y'all. Uh, Maybe start with a request to all of you all to briefly introduce your work in publishing, though everyone knows, knows Rajeshri Bandotkar Karapurkar, knows Leonard Fernandez, knows Aditya Bidye and Raj Jones and Pantaleo Fernandez. Uh, because a lot of books have been put out in Goa. So, but let's go over to you all and uh, listen to you know, just a brief introduction about your work in publishing in Goa, and then we'll go to the next rounds. I'll go first. Uh, my name is Leonard Fernandez. Uh, we have a publishing house called Cinnamon Deal. We have uh, several imprints. One of them is Under the People Tree, which translates books, which uh, publishes books in translation. We also have a bookshop called the Doggies Bookshop in Margaon. And we organize the Goa Book Fair. Means we have organized two editions of the Goa Book Fair. And in addition to all that, we have a we have a trust called Publishing Next, where we have conferences on publishing, and we award uh, we give awards in publishing. So that's me. And Publishing Next. Yeah, I spoke about Publishing Next. Okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, so who's going to introduce themselves next? Aditya, your turn. Hello, everyone. Uh, Aditya Bide from Raja Hans. <coughs> uh, so we are the Govan publishers here. We mostly publish uh, Govan syllabus books, uh, Goa board books, and all the preparatory series and whatever, whatnot. In the mostly our main uh, uh, publication is for which are which is helping students is preparatory series. And we have all the ecosystem working around it. And we also have the functions, which is all connected there. Uh, recently, we have changed our focus. And we have started publishing a, a, book, a book for kids, uh, which uh, we had never done before. Meaning, these are like mostly pictures without uh, words or very little words. And uh, I'm happy to say that uh, last month only we have achieved 50 publications uh, in this in area. Month, in one month, in one month. No, no. Oh, two, two, uh, two, two, last two, one year. Two, so what two, we two. do is we publish uh, three books each month. So it is a continuous process. Right. And uh, it's like uh, three books, three books, three books. In a minute. Now we have reached 50 books. Right. So this is uh, this uh, area has had been never touched in uh, Konkani basically. These are all Konkani books basically. They were agri script. And right from the 80s, your father has done a lot of uh, pioneering work in the field. When he was felicitated, I was listening to his speech and I was very impressed by all his work, which you are continuing. Uh, 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 that is the area we should touch upon, like basic education and children. And we should do full-fledged. 
आनी ऑफकोर्स कोकनी डिक्शनरीज आसोरी तरह डिक्शनरी चालू आता रिसेंटली वी हेव स्टार्टेड न्यू दीज प्रोजेक्ट पोर्तुगीज को डिक्शनरी तीन दालगादोन भी का तेपार लेटेस्ट तीतले ये ना जो रिसर्च ओरिएंटेड वर्क करते को वी आर कंटेंट एंड हैप्पी अबाउट इट तुम्स एक डिक्शनरी हाँ पो बाय दामोदर गणेकर इज समथिंग ऑफ थ्री हंड्रेड थ्री थाउजंड प्लस पेजेस इट्स अबाउट दिस बिग दिस बिग डिक्शनरी करेक्ट 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 वेरी नाइस राजा जी स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम दी एटीज ना फ्रॉम दी एटीज यस यू कैन से Uh, over to Jose or Pantale. I will take it next. Just introductions, brief introductions. Okay. Shall I go? Please. Shall I? Please. So my name is Jose Lorenzo, and I write short stories and I also edit and I do some translations from English into Konkani, Konkani into English, and I have a small uh, publishing unit called Amazing Goa Publications. Uh, in which i explore other ways of publishing other formats other than books uh, i have published a box of information cards on goa and i have published the uh, konkani proverbs in a calendar format and i'm also exploring other goa related content which i can put across through cards through calendars through posters through various other formats i'm also publishing books <coughs> i have some books uh, in mind and uh, but that is uh, not many publications my focus is more on writing editing and translation yeah that jose 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 does few but he believes in uh, quality and not quantity unlike me and all his books are extremely well received one was on the parish churches of goa which pantaleo has photographed for and the other one was uh, the 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 konkani sayings which are all over the place on the internet and i think i personally feel jose has done a great job by allowing people to share them widely so every day someone will post it to one whatsapp group or some facebook group and they all read the konkani sayings translated very well into english uh, leonard i'm sorry i was a bit distracted with the sound and other things when you were talking but i also need to acknowledge the enormous work both of your engineers have done and everyone else in this group unfortunately rajesh is just logged out we hope we have a back soon uh, you know i i am very impressed by leonard's work and i always always say we are friendly we are friendly rivals in that sense i'm full of admiration for his publishing next i'm full of admiration for for his you know return from the us and his wife queenie's return from the uk to set up dog ears and trying out books uh, bookshops first a second hand we'll get into that later maybe first a second hand bookshop and then a uh, you know uh, sorry first a second hand marketplace online then then uh, print on demand and self publishing then a bookshop during the pandemic he was very bold to start dog ears bookshop and just before you came rajesh ji was saying leonard is doing excellent work and i agreed with her fully because he is busy all the time all the time he is busy keeping uh, organizing events in margaon which is a much needed space anyone wants to hold anything in margaon related to books and the printed word just catch hold of this young man He will not say no to you. Last introduction, uh, Pantaleo, please. Yeah, I am Pantaleo Fernandez uh, from Benauli. I started publishing books because uh, when I went, uh, my my books are basically photography based, and uh, when I went to when I looked around for what kind of books are available, the quality of photo books at that time in two thousand maybe three or four. Very. Well, I can't. Uh, I I need something better. So I went uh, out and I met uh, printers around uh, Pune, Bombay, etc. And then uh, uh, since I wanted to personally uh, supervise uh, the printing process, understand the printing process, and one more important aspect is I write uh, to live. I live on my writing and I live on my books. So. I can't afford to let out some percentages in between to some middle men to uh, print. So I had to. I was forced to research into printing directly to printing. So that's how I became a publisher. So so far I have done. Due to that, I have done around uh, seven books I have published. So that is uh, my story. Yeah. Thank you, Jose. 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 Thank you, J
someone someone's uh, sound is giving some echo if you don't mind if that person you know some kind of echo if you if that person can just mute when you're not talking i don't know whose it is some kind of yeah we could, we could all mute when we are not talking actually no but all should not mute yeah that sound is gone the others yeah. don't have to mute maybe you you are most welcome okay uh, so everyone knows me i'm the big time spammer around i i'm the guy who keeps on entering your inbox when you don't want me to enter as email as whatsapp messages whatever uh, we started goa 1556 about 17 18 years ago uh, together with leonard almost the same time almost the same time and uh, what we did was uh, basically trying to make it easier for goans to get published locally uh, our konkani long awaited long delayed konkani dictionary is coming out crowd funded it's coming out by the end of this month and uh, about 160 titles which we published along the way uh, some good some some uh, not so good some some which could have been better whatever it is so today what we want to focus on is the state of publishing in the ah, sorry rajeshri rajeshri please introduce yourself that's important okay i'm rajeshri bandurkar karapurkar i have been amche bhashin bhai mona kide bhasha no problem ओनली आणि इट टेक्स लॉड ऑफ टाइम टू राईट सायन्स वेल आय इंट्रोड्यूस I'll tell more about it little later, but that's my brief intro. I think is it okay? कितने पुस्तक काल लिया राजेशी आता पासुन कितने पुस्तक काल लिया? सगरे मिलूं नहीं सात पुस्तक का काल लिया हूँ। दो हजार चार अंचन बहुत के लिए। दो हजार चार my first book विद्यान योगी अंताजा उपरान मगे रहा हूँ दोन दोन वर्षा नहीं एक एक अशे not very like you know वर्षा के धाबू का भी जाइना मजे करे like very slow process but yes because you uh, author them you publish them you do everything yourself yes 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 yeah. i write just, and then i just to let everyone into a small secret all of us are from some brotherhood uh, which is a alumni group of the national book trust i think all six of us have attended one or both of these courses held by the nbt in goa i personally am very grateful for nbt for having these very inexpensive and very high quality courses which pushed us into publishing and today we have any gripe about the situation in publishing it's not because we are ungrateful or whatever but just that we want we expect more so coming to that point what do you all think is the state of publishing in goa where where is something lacking what what needs to be done i'm not only saying from the government side from our side from the reader side from building up a wider wider book ecosystem anyone we need not take turns you can interrupt each other and keep the discussion informal and free free going so may i speak frederick please 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 yeah i am quite happy with the volume of publishing that's taking place in goa it is uh, they are not big publishing names at a national level or something but like what uh, you are doing under goa 1556 what khalil is doing on the broadway what leonard is doing what pantale is doing all of us are publishing and there are many who also self publish under the authors names uh that's really great because goa has had that tradition right for you know over a, almost a century of uh, small volumes of publishing but what we need to do today to take that level of quality up is be more critical of the work that we are writing and publishing we need to get it edited properly we need to get it uh, you know proofread checked properly and also uh, read by uh, you know peers people who will go through that book before it's printed and suggest improvements uh, you know uh, corrections take that level of the writing quality way up so that it uh, you know makes a greater impact eventually more copies will sell and that book will make a mark on the national and international level so i think we are in a hurry to get books printed uh, published we uh, most many authors just write and straight away go to self publish that's a mistake 
if we put in a little more effort in editing proofing you know uh, rewriting and uh, and packaging that book nicely with a good cover uh, a good uh, you know printing design good book design then our goa's uh, publishing industry would rise tremendously that's my view interesting bide bab tujhe monop ki dai tum tumcha ni khub वर्सक बुक पब्लिशिंग डिफिकल्टीज नॉर्मल लिटरेचर लायब्ररी आता गोयन कित स्कूल आसा मोर देन सेवेन हंड्रेड प्लस स्कूल धावी बारावी हायर सेकेंडरी लायब्ररी बुक इज अ मेजर दिस्थिंग क्रक्चर आता वर्क कश पावे आता गोवन पब्लिशर सेल्फ पब्लिशर आता तंका आता फॉर एक्जाम्पल राजश्री आप राजश्री क्या बुक का पूण ताका मार्केटिंग ना न्ही ताचे ताचे म्हणजे आमच्या गोयन अशे मार्केटिंगच तितले जायना प्रोफेशनल पद्धतीन सो नाल्यार इतले सातशे स्कुला पैकी एटलिस्ट शंभर स्कुलांनी घेऊपा जाय न्ही पुस्तकां ते अशी खंय सेल जाता तशी जायना सेल मग आम्ही खंच तरी गव्हर्मेंट हाजेर रिलाय रावता की ते शंभर रुपया बुकां घेतले आणि ऑल दीस थिंग म्हणजे खऱ्या रिडरा पर्यंत आमची बुकां पावता काय किदे सो हो एक क्वेश्चन आसा म्हणजे आम्ही महाराष्ट्र गुजरात बी जसे असं जो एक मदी डिस्ट्रीब्युशन नेटवर्क असा नाही तांचा तसं आमच्या गोयन डिस्ट्रीब्युशन नेटवर्क ना तो सगळ्यांनी मेजर आमकां म्हणजे नवीन पुस्तक काढल्या बरोबर तो लोकांकडे पावपाचे कसे थोडे एकडे खपता ते खल्ल्या कडे दवरले जाल्यार तो सेल करता दोन तीन कडे जाता पण बाकीचे लोकांक लायब्ररी मेन लायब्ररी आमच्यो लायब्ररी ते पावना पुस्तकां आमच्या सेंट्रल लायब्ररीन आम्ही तीन दिता हय म्हाका दिसता तुवें लिओनार्ड बाबाक मातसो प्रोवोक केला म्हणून पूण ताच्या पयली हांव एक म्हणूंक सोदता दॅट सी यू हॅव रेज अ पॉइंट ऑफ प्रॉपर लॅक ऑफ अ प्रॉपर डिस्ट्रीब्युशन नेटवर्क लॅक ऑफ अ लायब्ररी नेटवर्क ऑर रिडिंग इकोसिस्टम विच आय थिंक आर व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट आय एम नॉट अंडर रेटिंग आय एम नॉट अंडर रेटिंग जुजे जुजे लोरेन्सो पॉइंट अबाउट अ नीड फॉर क्वालिटी विच 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 इज ऑल्सो देअर but i feel no that uh, selling the books is a big challenge uh, sorry leonard you 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 got provoked no, i just wanted to i just wanted to address aditya's point because in maharashtra there is no concept of distribution the books don't even uh, the books go straight from the printer to the retailer now we had we don't have retailers we have what five or six bookshops in goa all are on the coastal belt and uh, the libraries the library system in goa is broken meaning let's be frank about it so that, that one conduit which we had to take the books to the masses and at least generate some kind of interest in our books is gone meaning the the, the purchase the purchasing process is not transparent uh, it is it is you're making an important point but i am having a problem in and, listening uh, to you if you want you can switch your camera off but but i don't know ah leonard has switched his camera off or has he gone offline his bandwidth seems to be some leonard was making an important point about uh, basically needing to get the books across and uh, the uh, library system being broken and distribution not being existing i think we we all agree on this there's no dispute on this only thing how to get it across uh, pantaleo and jose have their own model 
have their own interesting model. Leonard is 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 out, but he should be back soon. Uh, Pantaleo and Jose have their own distribution model. Pantaleo is based on uh, self distribution, pre release offers, and things like that. And Jose's is uh, is more intense uh, distribution of a limited number of books. But for people like BDA, Aditya Bidhi and myself and Leonard. We're dealing with large volumes, it becomes a bit difficult. I don't know what the solution is. So, so, so some bullet points have come up here that, you know, we have problems with distribution. We have problems with libraries. We have problems with lack of ecosystem. I think, uh, like you might be aware that Goa is one of the few states which collects a liquor tax, a liquor cess, which goes into supporting libraries. About 50 crores have been collected, but much of it has gone into building two libraries. That's uh, Pato and and uh, and uh, Navili. Navili. Yeah. So I don't know whether it would be more productive if more money. Of course, people would say we are lobbying because we are publishing books. But if more money had actually gone to authors and publishers and you know supported the publishing ecosystem, that's one point. Another point is that some of the central library schemes and art and culture schemes are not working very well. We had this scheme where, where they would give grants to authors. At the moment, uh, they have shifted the scheme and they made it into a scheme for, it was pre-publication grants based on your manuscript. Now it's a post-publication grant based on your printed book, which they may or may not buy copies of. So what used to be a safety net has become a kind of a lottery. They are giving you higher grants, but the chance of getting it is much less. So I don't know, the earlier scheme used to work much better, at least, you know, as far as I'm concerned. So these are many yeah, issues. I... That... Yeah, sorry, sorry. I need to make a point. Please. Uh, uh, what is happening is we are talking about uh, uh, the marketing part before. Uh, Jose had raised a point about the quality. Now, if you pick out uh, at random books that come out in the market, uh, the quality is like in, recently I came across a book which is freshly published yeah. uh, by one of the top authors of Goa. I mean, a lot of fact, a lot of information. The author gives a lot of very good information. And it's a book on culture and heritage. And uh, when I open the info, normally I look at the information page first, the uh, metadata page. And I was shocked to see there that it said, this is purely a work of fiction. And all the characters in this book are fictitious. So what has happened is the whoever has copied and pasted that uh, standard stuff onto this book, which is not a fiction book, which talks about the Goan culture, which talks about everything. And it has gone through God knows how many channels. Are, are, are there, that means, are there any channels checking the book at least once? So this happens to a lot of books. You find that uh, there's no quality check on the photographs. They are pixelated. Some covers are pixelated. Cover photographs are pixelated. So before you go into marketing, uh, I think we, you, we should speak a little bit on the quality of production or even production is okay on the quality of the uh, what I said, how the how these things it, it's a huge error to say that this is a work of fiction when it is all fact, factual stuff. And the culprit, the culprit is back with us now. We know whose sound is making whose mic is making the noise, and that is Leonard's. Leonard's, welcome back. I'm just joking, but if you no, if you can mic put your off. mic on mute, yeah, when you're not Leonard's speaking. Mic is already off. Okay, okay, okay. So, so yeah, there was a bit of an echo. So, so thanks. You just uh, we we missed the later half of your point, Leonard. You were making an important point, and uh, Pantaleon was adding to it by saying that uh, we need to we need to uh, you know make sure that quality that silly mistakes don't happen in our books. You you were making a point about distribution. Yeah, no, Leonard, that point is taken. Yeah, distribution okay. is almost non-existent. Meaning. So, so like for example, uh, the, the the thing is like uh, Rajasri's books, for example. Just to give you a, just to give you an example of. So unless she goes to bookshops, that will not happen. A books now whatever we might think about bookshops and Amazon, the visibility happens in bookshops. It doesn't happen on Amazon. So unless you know about Rajasri's book, you're not going to go online and say, let me search for that book. You might not even know the title, right? So the visibility of the book has to happen in the physical place. So when Aditya says that 
libraries are libraries at the school libraries is under the broken system the government libraries is under the broken system and uh, if you want we can go into the details for example the school libraries one sec one sec before why, just just to just to take you up on no, that point please wait. okay please speak you speak the schools the schools for example don't have a budget for a library from the first to the fourth they don't from the fifth to the tenth they have a budget of 5000 rupees so so you tell me how many books are going to be there in that can be bought that in that budget leonard so, just so, to go I back cannot... to your earlier point sorry sorry just to go back very valid points very valid points but you are making them so fast that i am struggling to keep abreast with them i am losing my train of thought because you are making them so fast you made this point about the uh, you know uh, books uh, needing to be out there in bookshops just to play devil's advocate not I could... no no that, that is what i was saying when i was uh, when Sorry. my internet went off okay i'm not i'm not insisting on bookshops for example i we need to find other ways of displaying books correct so i agree with you on that you stand workshop yeah, we need we desperately like need to workshop. find other ways to make the goa books visible because we are fighting against books coming from all over the country all over the world okay and we have to compete with them and yeah. and very often you know the bookshops in goa are like the pharmacies in india where you have 6000 medicines to deal with how do you promote so many books how does someone even find among 6000 books how do they find you know say my book or rajesh series book or any one of our books you know so we have to find in our in yeah. our cyber age we have to find new ways of popularizing books sorry yeah the internet is not the way to do it it's the lazy way but it's not the way and uh, i'm not so, so sure i'm yeah. not so sure i'm not so sure if people see there are two problems there people get to know of a book they might be interested in it but then even delivery is another problem though though uh, leonard has his good uh, good system of uh, you know kind of mail order which works quite well and aditya has recently one uh, two three years back not recently some time back before the pandemic started this full scheme of uh, what's it called aditya ma shete introduce korta kashe cholatat te how does it work te mare amji now the jasa grandha abhiman scheme to tatur ami kide karta govan publishers only mhanje bahar samaj to book govan writer samaj bahar osun publish karta book tal to ami advertise amcha bookar gena te aski bin na to फक्त जे गोवन पब्लिशर गोवन राइटर्स ऑथर्स आता तंजा खीर स्कीम के पांच पुस्तक घता वी मेक अ बाय मंथली कैटलॉग ऑफ ऑल द बुक्स वी रिसीव प्लस वी गो टू द सेंट्रल लाइब्ररी एंड वी टेक द इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑफ ऑल द बुक्स डिपोजिटेड विद दैम फॉर द लास्ट टू मंथ्स तो तुम घता तो ये कर सग्या स्कूल धटा गोय ऑलमोस्ट थाउजंड कॉपीज प्लस पंचायत पंचायत आगे गोयन तंका धटा प्लस जे जो लाइब्ररी दिस इनिशिएटिव लेवल तक धटा सो एटलिस्ट पे बुक दोन तीन बुक्स बुक्स संगले फॉर एक्जाम्पल नार्वेकर कि तुम्हें कैटलॉग ओपन कर ऑर्डर ये सो वी वर वेरी हेपी अबाउट इट क्या सेल कर हेतु ना वी जस्ट वॉन्ट टू मार्केट द गोवन बुक्स लोक बुक्स ऑर्डर दिवसी दैट इज अवर मेन कंसर्न अवर मेन Idea is to people should understand about the books which are published. So slow, slow, slow. The upper level it's very difficult process, but uh, as you know, we don't give up. We will continue doing the uh, job. Your catalog or, or magazine or whatever you call it is a very useful product. I have stored each and every copy here. Karanu dolya, sadi kuch dolya, lagi ha. Because it helps me to know what books are being published in Goa, what what books can be reviewed, what can be written about, you know, all these kind of things. It's very useful. But having said that, do we have a consensus among us or disagreement? Both are fine on why the problems of Goa. Goa was the home of the first printing press, Gutenberg style, in Asia, in 1556. Today we have a situation where it is very hard to earlier publish a book or to distribute a book. Still, it may be easier to publish now, but to distribute is tough. why does this problem come about is it because goa is a small state i know people like juze and pandalev will disagree with me strongly and they will point out that we have sold 13 14000 copies of one of our books but tumche chitap kite what do you all feel can can we take a sense of what people feel about this yeah may i speak frederick please 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 
yeah we have all, you and i have had this running feud you know that we uh, you say that it's uh, a bad scene and i am always uh, optimistic and i say we are doing very well well if you ask uh, leonard he'll probably tell you that some of his books have sold quite well some haven't if you ask khalil he will say out of the 100 titles whatever i have done uh, some have sold quite well and you will say the same thing so we are doing reasonably well with the good books that we produce which again goes back to the question of uh, quality so if you produce a good book or a series of good books they will sell well if you produce something which is not of interest to readers or badly pro- uh, published you know badly put together or badly written it's not going to sell uh, uh, i would like to put across another point here uh, i have sold around 3000 copies of this calendar which is almost like a kind of auto selling uh, mechanism that that desk calendar stands on people's uh, tables uh, people come around and they see it and they ask oh konikela bara sundar dista and quimet law then somebody tells them go to broadway or just phone the uh, juzia his phone number is there and uh, then they phone me or whatsapp me and then i supply the book i post it to them and sometimes i take a whole box and i dump it at uh, khalil's broadway i keep supplying uh, leonard with copies of that calendar so that calendar is on the desk it's very highly visible people who love konkani proverbs and who love konkani want it as a kind of souvenir and they learn and they can you know teach their children proverbs so that particular product seems to be selling by itself now if i start produce publishing a book of uh, a calendar of poems and it's again sits on people's desks it will sell very well because it's uh, you know auto publicity in a way but that's for those desk calendars it will not apply for books because books stand on bookshelves they are not going to be seen by everyone people are not their pages are not opened every day so books we have to work harder again there if you publish a, a good book and it's well promoted you, i have opened an amazon channel for my you know books and calendars whatever i put up that calendar there and hardly 10 copies have sold that's because i have not put in efforts to promote to send links i'm waiting to publish some more works and then put them up on more products you know books and calendars and put them up on that channel but unless you work hard and promote like how uh, leonard also is working of which is channel you put in the efforts then the sales will take place very, uh, my very, last very, third very, one second yeah, my last and third point frederick is that we are right now in a very although i have said that we are, the books are selling well and we are doing reasonably well each of us uh there is one very serious thing which uh, has emerged in the last few days when this higher secondary results were declared and this year there was a significant drop in the pass percentage and the head of the directorate of higher education welcome 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 one welcome. is that yeah, one is that the students focus has reduced their attention span has shortened probably because of social media or cell phones or whatever and he said uh, students are uh, distracted and they cannot study properly and the second reason is that they have reduced the reading of books which means the quality of their english has dropped and therefore they cannot express their answers well in subjects like history or geography or political science or psychology the quality of the english drops the quality of the answers <laughs> and the exam uh, drops because i have you know i have been for some projects i have uh, some professors of the colleges have sent their final year students to do some project and they have interviewed me and they have written their dissertation or whatever or are we on carry on carry on carry on carry on yeah. we are there okay everyone is so there. they have uh, shown me their dissertation and the quality of the english is so poor the quality of the thinking logic is so poor, poor. these are final year students from top colleges in goa very disappointing so the that quality of intellect expression language is seriously dropping in goa and that's because they are not reading enough 
Jusay, so Jusay, Jusay, there are two issues here. Have. There are two issues here. Let's not even enter that because Goa being a multilingual society, whether everyone needs to know English perfectly and all that is a different debate altogether. But of course, everyone needs to read and everyone needs to be more thoughtful about that. I agree with you fully. Uh, see, your your. I want to just make two observations. Your uh, your calendar desk the calendar is a fantastic product. It is well thought of, and your people like you. and pantu and all that who have engineering brains can come out with these products but the rest of us are not so in, in in doubt in that sense luckily in doubt so so i mean it's a great product with uh, either great the illustrations are great the translations are good and everyone loves it but having said that my angst is from where my angst is that even if you put out a good book there is no chance that it will do well okay the, the my biggest problem is that people take a lot of time before they realize what is a good book and when your book is out of print they start asking you for it there is this lag yes. this kind of lag between uh, anyway, yes. anyway i shouldn't make this a, a debate about myself but just to welcome uh, dinesh manerkar on the group on onto this discussion he had he had to he had some family emergency so he's a bit late dinesh great to have you here dinesh is a publisher of a large number of kokni books other books kokni marathi dono hi nahi mashe sangta you'll tell us a little bit about your publishing activity and then issues which you think are important sang sang dinesh bab why awaz ena mute eta ba kheta tum kya ta koi bhai ya ta ule ata ule ata best okay i am from sanjana publications a small publisher i would say अनेक या लॉट ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस लॉट ऑफ न्यू एक्सपीरियंसेस एंड बरे अनुभव बरे येतात वाइल पब्लिशिंग द बुक्स टाइप ऑफ राइटिंग्स अनेक टाइप ऑफ राइटर्स एज वेल एज एक्सपेक्टेशंस ऑफ द राइटर्स ऑफ द रीडर्स आई विल बी मोर वोकल आई थिंक एज the program goes ahead right right please thank you yeah thanks so so those who have not yet spoken uh, rajeshri bhai do you agree with what uh, jose lorenzo is saying about quality is there any relationship between quality and how well a book does <coughs> see ah uh, awajeru lok shakna pan as far as my books are concerned i see right. to it that you know there is quality to it भूग्या खाते बरयता मुझे आई हेव टू बी वेरी परफेक्ट एट एवरीथिंग एवरी वर्ड आई हेव टू वे आई सी टू विथ दैट इलास्ट्रेशन आसा पुस्तक पुस्तक कलर्स आसता एवरीथिंग आई डू टू अट्रेक्ट अ चाइल्ड पुन इन स्पाइट ऑफ दीस इतक सगले आसन पसंद क्या खाती पुस्तक खी प्रॉब्लम जो कहना पुण जी जुजे उलता पानी हाँ सग जे संगला कि प्रोमोशन जाएज मजा सायडीन मजी थोड़ी लिमिटेशन हूँ हम प्रोमोशन तेजे करूं शकना बुक शॉपान हाँ वो दौरला सगैक दिनेश बाबा कड़े आसा आदित्या कड़ेन आसा सगैक लिओ कड़े आसा सगैक पुस्तक आसा पुण तजान फुढ़े मैं हम फिर बाल भवन भूग्या खाती वर्कशॉप्स घता कि आनी खी भूग्या खाती लिओ प्रोग्राम भूग्या खाती वर्कशॉप घता पुण तजा फुढ़े हाँ वचूं शकना खं चुकता हाँ चुकता कई टीचर्स चुकता कई भूगी चुकता वो एक वो प्रश्न आता दुसरो प्रश्न मैं क्वेश्चन ये तुझो पुस्तक सिलेबस बेज आसा क्या सगे पोर्शन सिलेबसान आसा जो पेरंट्स आर रेडी टू बाय अरे आई एम नॉट पब्लिशिंग अ टेक्स बुक आई डोट वॉन्ट टू पब्लिश अ टेक्स बुक आई कैन हंड्रेड पर्सेंट आई कैन डू अ टेक्स बुक राइट नाउ बट आई डोट वॉन्ट टू डू दैट i want to do creative writing for children in science mallar tanka kasha tarin science avdung jay hajer ave vichar karun karun have pustaka bareli ji kitki 500 var i mean so sat bareli ti pun maka jay to so response mailna thodi shit parents phone karun sangta ki ek don parent thodi shit mancha piksha let me be very specific नॉट क्वॉलिटी ऑफ माय बुक्स 
उटसाइड <laughs> and speak about it and i made my son release the book on the stage with his teacher and after that i was waiting expectantly that children will come and have a look at it so what happened was all the children did come to see the books they came rushing for the books they picked the book it was very attractive book and they told their parents these are kindergarten children they said we need we want this book so i heard the parents telling them baba you have books why do you want one more book and those the same children are have been carrying those big ice cream cones which cost around 100 rupees and this book was around 250 hard cover book fully illustrated talking about goa and a lot of goa and cultural feedback but the parents said that you have enough books you do not want more books there were children crying for the books and the parents were not interested in giving them buying them the book this is one of the reason the reason is not so the parents are not know that the children need to read books One of the reasons we read books was that our parents used to stop us with endless number of books. They used to be shipped coming to Vasco. They used to go all the way to Vasco. They used to buy books from Vasco because the ships used to come uh, come come with books. The, the books were not available here at that time. In my childhood in Goa, not in English. They would go to Vasco. They would get, uh, go to Vasco. This this culture is seems to be lacking in today's uh, kind of uh, parenthood. Leonard, mask or mic off, girl. If you don't mind, when you're not talking, Leonard, 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 mask. How many? How many? Add for Rico. Please, please. Ah, please. okay. Leonard, mask or mic off, girl. Was it audible or uh, was it all? Uh, no, you were fine. You were fine. You were fine. Okay. And I think we should mute who, those who are not speaking. If they mute their mic, they'll be able to. No, no. Only Leonard's mic seems to be giving some feedback. Otherwise, it's okay. Hello. जे पब्लिशर कड़ान फॉर ए गुड कमीशन फिफ्टी पर्सेंट और मोर दैन बट दे सी दुक सोल्ड आउट थ्रू आउट द स्टेट दे विल सेल इट टू द लाइब्ररीज दे विल सेल इट टू दॉलेज कॉलेजीस दे विल दे मे होल्ड एक्जिबिशन अभी कर अपनी पुस्तक विकता तंदो करता तो व्यवहार करता गोयक आई एम द पब्लिशर ऑफ माय बुक आई एम द सेलर ऑफ माय बुक हाला पुस्तक जो पापा जाए रिडर मेरे गोई खाची कौन ती पाना हाका आनीक फैक्टर्स जबदार आसा एक जर होलसेल डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर जर को दिनेश बाब मो तुझो आवाज बोना मो वीडियो ऑफ को आवाज गोडेक बो प्लीज इफ यू डोंट माइंड या शुअर कैरी ऑन कैरी ऑन सो कड़ेन जर होलसेल डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर वो कल्टिवेट कर पड़ो क्या गोवा इज टोटली न्यू पब्लिशिंग बुक्स नवी नवी पुस्तक तैयार कर रायटर कड़ान राजाउस हेज बीन डूंग जॉब जो रायटर कड़ान पुस्तक अपने जाए ती तैयार कर बेरेज रेस्ट ऑफ द रायटर्स अपने मना बर आज एजुकेशनल फील्ड अंक एक पर्टिकुलर टाइप ऑफ बुक्स जाए पड़ता जी तैयार कर गरज आता बरबर हि हा पुस्तक मार्केटिंग जो मार्केटिंग आज हम कड़ेन जायत्यो वेगवेग वाटो आयात फॉर एग्जाम्पल फेसबुक मार्केटिंग जता कि इंस्टाग्राम मार्केटिंग जता ये करपा वसना आयदर वी वी आर लैकिंग इन दैट नॉलेज और 
आमकां तितलो टायम ना पूण जर एक प्रोफेशनल होलसेलर जर या पुस्तकाच्या धंद्या भितर आयलो जर घडये तो हे सगळे मार्ग आपण मॅक्सिम पुस्तक खपोव शकतो असे मला दिसता दुसरी गजल कि आमच्या गव्हर्मेंटाच्या ज्या स्कीमी असतात की गिविंग ग्रँट्स टू द रायटर्स टू पब्लिश देअर बुक्स दिस इज हॅम्परिंग द पब्लिशिंग इंडस्ट्री इन अ लार्ज वे आय वुड से रायटर कि करता रायटर आपल्या पुस्तक काढता स्कीमीक घालता आणि ताका पैसे आयले ते पैसे बॉल्सां उडयता फुडले स्कीमीक परत आणि पुस्तक बरयता ते बॉल्सां उडयता सी वेन अ रायट वेन अ रायटर ऑर वेन अ पब्लिशर गेट्स द मनी थ्रू द स्कीम्स गव्हर्मेंट स्कीम्स दॅट मनी नीड्स टू बी रोल्ड अप रोल्ड अप आता मजी केस जर तुम्ही विचारली जर संजना पब्लिकेशन जे सुरुवात केले त्यांना हवे स्कीमी हवे अजूनही गव्हर्मेंट स्कीमीक पैसे हे घालता पैसे उभारता पण हे पैसे आय नेवर पुट इट माय इन माय पॉकेट आय ऑलवेज री इन्वेस्ट अँड दॅट इज द रिझन वाय इवन टुडे आय कॅन पब्लिश सो मेनी बुक्स आय वॉन्ट सी मेनी बुक्स बट एटलिस्ट एक नोट जावपा सारखो नंबर ऑफ बुक्स आय कॅन पब्लिश एव्हरी इयर बिकॉज दर वर्षा गव्हर्मेंट स्कीमी पुस्तक घालतक जो पण पैसे येतात तो दॅट आय एम री इन्वेस्टिंग फॉर द बुक्स ऑफकोर्स आय वॉज सॅलरीड अँड आय हॅड माय जॉब दॅट इज डिफरंट सो माय इट वॉज नॉट माय टोटल टोटल लायव्हलीहूड वॉज नॉट ऑन पब्लिशिंग ऑफ बुक्स पण हे जर बाकीच्या रायटरांनी जर केले जर वी वुड हॅव गॉट लॉट ऑफ प्रोफेशनल पब्लिशर्स जे आमचे कडेन घडना वॉट एव्हर इट इज दिनेश बाब तुझे चितप मला एकदम बरे लागले बिकॉज यू हॅव यु नो ओपन सम व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट इशूज देर आदित्य बाब किती म्हणून सोतालो हा बरे सो 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 या जुजे 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 ऑन म्यूट जुजे जुजे ऑन म्यूट ऑन म्यूट ऑन म्यूट अँड स्पीक जुजे कॅन आय एड समथिंग हिअर या कॅन आय स्पीक हिअर Yeah, I'd yeah, just please. like to add add an optimistic note here an observation uh Broadway bookshop you know is uh, the largest book seller in Goa so uh, it's i think more than 30 years old right yeah, we are in yeah, 2024 yeah, easy, easy. Uh, it's, it's more than 30 years old when i used to go to broadway 30 years 25 years ago he had a lot of uh, you know national level books and international uh, best sellers and all that and there was almost uh, as good as no goa section he may have had some 5 or 10 books or something like that and 25 years or 30 years later he has got one full aisle which is around two shelves full of uh, goa based books and he has got one large display as you enter facing the entrance of the bookshop is got a large display where he displays the latest goa books so you're talking about three huge shelves of goa books leonard at dog years he has got one whole side of the wall uh, you know i think three shelves full of goa books now this represents a huge jump in goa publishing and and i would say almost one third of the titles at broadway are published in collaboration with goa 1556 you know almost 200 titles between both of you all or to maybe 300 titles and leonard has uh, cinnamon teal also has contributed titles so over a quarter of a century we have seen a huge quantum jump in the volume of books that are being sold and if someone like khalil a very astute businessman devotes three shelves and the front display to goa related books you know that the goa related book publishing industry is doing quite well because he is still standing after 30 years he has not shut down like many i mean compared to many other national uh, bookshops in other metropolis in cities and all that across india kalil has not shut down and he sees no reason why he is not suffering any kind of loss books are doing well he's selling well of course he also gets container loads of books and he sells those he goes selling his books to the, uh, the to the universities and to the schools he focuses a lot in selling books there 
a lot of his uh, chunk of profits comes from there but the very presence of these and the expansion the increase in the number of books displayed which are go related in prominent visibility i am very happy and proud of that that's my observation and 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 to add to it our friend leonard has been bold enough to start a bookshop during the pandemic when everyone else was closing down but that apart our friend uh, khalil and fahim have both boycotted us today leonard you're on mute <laughs> leonard leonard you're on mute have both boycotted us today i'm just joking uh, maybe they no, are no, no, i want to make a come. point about what jose just said please that in the case of book sellers uh, in the case of books the mountain has to go to mohammed i'm convinced about it <laughs> meaning because uh, because when you're talking about books you talk about look at the goa book fair and the footfall during goa book fair look when uh, you go uh, to you when look when you go outside the bookshop and have book fair uh, book fairs or book sales the book sales are much more so so and and one more point about zuze about zuze and pantaleo and quality we have to also admit that we have done nothing absolutely nothing to make quality available in terms of editors in terms of illustrators in terms of designers we have done nothing to, to we have done nothing meaning so zuze is a good translator but we have we have not built the second zuze you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. uh, we have not we have not built capacity for publishing in goa so so the ability to which we can move forward is constrained by that capacity that we have had and now we are using and overusing so 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 as an industry to move forward we have there, there are many things one is of course build distribution like the like mr manerkar is saying but then we've also on the other side we've also got to build for example very few books of very few good books of non fiction come out of goa very few so pantaleon does a few uh, uh you do some history and all but but there's so much else that needs to come and where is it going to come from we cannot keep publishing theses every time we have to find ways in which they can be made into books so right across the spectrum we have not built capacity we have uh, in konkani especially uh, mr manekar might agree we don't have any non fiction absolutely very little non fiction is there uh so if you want whether it's biographies whether it is history of goa there's no history of goa and konkani there's absolutely no history so where where is it going to come from there are textbooks that we can uh, that uh, rajhans has published but come on yeah we need more than that so we have not built that capacity so it's it's so to say that we don't have good editors and all many where are they going to come from everybody who learns english think they can edit a book but that's not what it is to step in uh, to step in between the point between the point uh, leonard was making and jose made i think we have come a long way leonard's criticism is absolutely valid but we have come a long way i can I'm remember not in 2000, that we haven't. Yeah, yeah. 2006 when we were thinking how do we get a book published that time it was a struggle to get a goa book published because there was no spaces to to get it published today thanks no but to there was self publishing no 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 but there was self publishing it wasn't so easy so leonard Leonard, it wasn't so easy. It wasn't so look easy. Look at all the back. Look at everything. Look at Mauser's. No, not Karmi Reema. Look at Mauser's books. Look at the right. uh, sales. All in your gums. All in your gums. All in your gums. Yeah, he was self published. No, no. NBT was stepping in. Whatever. Let's not I discount agree. that. Because when I when... agree. See, let's not forget yeah. the history. What I'm saying is that before the the scheme for the arts and culture came, Fundasau started a small grant scheme, which which gave it a bit of a boost. but in those days there was no one if you see publishing a book is a kind of a technical job it's not rocket science but you need some help on how to do it so in those days there was no one to help you today we have overcome that but we are still stuck with distribution and marketing and visibility and you know whatever sorry yeah no so they can see you can continue yeah, sorry can i can i see please 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 yeah. see someone talking Yeah. no no one is so i think it's uh, we still have, we still have to look at multiple ways of doing the marketing we have to take books and stock them at bookshops we have to take part in uh, book fairs like what uh, leonard organizes 
we have to go and be there we have to do book readings and you know uh, have discussions uh, meet uh, purchasers there talk to them interact with them we have to also make sure that our products are available on amazon we have to you know create a database of uh, maybe 200 300 people who will help to push those books for us we have to use all these multiple mechanisms and get our books across no one uh, forum or one way of selling will be enough i know pantaleon does pre publication uh, orders i know he takes uh, his books in his van or his car and he goes to various places i have done the same thing uh, i remember that uh, book of inside out uh, goa writers anthology we put up a, a mat on the kalangut beach and five six of our goa writers members went then we tried to sell books on the beach like hawkers so we experiment we keep trying various things and it works because you know Sabia many of vegas us have sold story. thousands of copies savia vegas has her own story of yeah. selling books and she used to take a book story. in a bag and just go on the beach yeah she used to and sell can, uh, books on the carmona water. beach and then eventually penguin published her next book and <laughs> she was much uh, in a better position all of us work very hard to sell our books and we have to keep doing that in various different ways keep being inventive and creative fantastic fantastic inputs i don't think we'll all agree but we have had a lot of food for thought i'm so grateful to y'all but before letting y'all go rajeshri has already left us because she has duties at home and unlike us guys she doesn't have the liberty of going yakki yak for so long but one last question to everyone i want to know from each of you one goa book you would recommend and one interesting or funny experience you had in publishing yourself okay so i will start to keep the ball rolling uh, the first goa the goa book which i came across recently was madhav gadgil's uh, autobiography fascinating it's not exactly a goa book he is a prominent environmentalist but uh, yeah rajeshri says sorry she had some issues with the neck that's fine rajeshri no problem uh, madhav gadgil his autobiography ties up so much with goa he starts off by drawing his connection with perne his family connection grandfather's time and all that and then many of the issues he touches he touches he touches were were actually from from goa in that sense from goa and uh, you know uh, mining and uh, the whole lot of things turtles and it's even de- de- uh, dedicated to to father bismarck in that sense the book so that's the interesting uh, book that i came across and i really liked it i enjoyed it uh, a, a interesting story a interesting story uh, so we went you know like how you all said we have to discover new places to sell our books so we kept our books at a pharmacy i forgot about it two years later i went i won't tell you where this pharmacy was and then this guy said oh you come back he said take here's your money he gave me the envelope i said how much are you paying me i said you got to keep your commission and all he said no 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 commission he said you all are doing a good job just keep it he said i was so shocked now that there are still lovers of books in goa today so that's my interesting story pharmacy at arjuna you know i'm talking see now let me come into the open uh, savio figueredo at aldona used to be very helpful till the 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 food and drug administration i think told him that a pharmacy cannot keep books but this pharmacy was actually <laughs> at uh, yeah yeah because it's against the rules or something of that sort but uh, this pharmacy was at uh, uh, kansauli you know it was a book on roc and uh, the guy running it was a lions club member or something like that and i was i was so touched by his gesture you no know? he said just keep it here yeah. we don't want any commission from you these small things make a difference in the life of a publisher so so everyone please take your turn carry on go next whoever wants yeah. to tell like for example we okay, keep it in a take... few uh, yeah. one thing i'm sorry sir we keep it in a few cafes we okay. have to be a little more uh, we have to be a little more uh, uh, innovative about these things because uh, so cafes are a problem because people have coffee and then they spoil the books and all that yeah. but but yeah you know discussion ko na kare aata now you have to give your book and your fa- and your and one interesting story that's all discussion ko na ka no okay 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 sorry if you, if you want I to stay on with me <laughs> If you want to stay on with me till twelve o'clock, I have no problem. No, no, no. I'll, 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 I'll wait to see what Zuzay says and then I'll open my mouth. And you have to tell us okay. about this evening's okay. program, how it went, also, Leonard. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Can I give my list? Please, please. Can I? Yeah. So, in fiction, in 
english i would say ferry crossing that uh, penguin collection of short stories of from goa which i have been trans which have been in english and also translated from konkani marathi and portuguese ferry crossing edited by manohar shetty in konkani there are two lovely books which started my journey on to writing in konkani so this uh, samkalin konkani lagu katha and uh, the two one was published by sahitya academy one was published by nbt i think so altogether 40 stories i read in konkani i was amazed and that started my whole inspiration for writing in konkani so that's fiction in non fiction i would say fish curry and rice by claud alvaris uh, that's a great classic uh, book about goa non fiction and that little handbook that pantaleon published 100 goan experiences a small little pocket book which uh, i think he sold almost 14000 copies that is an all time classic it just gives you information that's uh, relevant lovely photographs and anyone who is you know literate illiterate or uh, discerning or just wants to go around goa can pick up that little book i hope he keeps it in print for the next uh, 50 years or 100 years it's a very useful book and one of my uh, top books about goa so there you are about goa non fiction fish curry and rice and fiction were those two books in konkani and one very crossing in english that's my list experience experience your experience hmm publishing experience writing experience yeah, yeah publishing uh, well, uh, yeah i did that little uh, book of my short stories fever and other stories i published i printed 500 co- copies and uh, i put them out in october within the month of october 500 copies were gone and i have i had nothing at the end of the month Uh, so they, they went through broadway they went through broadway some friends bought 20 30 copies and uh, you know kavathina the restaurant avinash martin he bought 100 copies and within a month 500 copies went off and i'm a bit lazy it's my own book so i didn't you know even print it print more copies up to now so what i'm saying is uh, i feel that uh, if we really i am a great fan of pocket book editions because my father when we were kids he gave us 25 books in easy english all the great novels in pocket book form uh, edition they were not fat heavy books so we need to produce light little pocket books of fiction or non fiction about goa small format big books big heavy books intimidate readers they intimidate students they get scared oyan kon vastalo kitle tem lagtalo amko vaspak ani zod asalo ani jaochena amche kaden they open three pages and they stop reading we have to have a large quantum of publishing in pocket book format because the world has done that every man series was a classic thing almost 200 100 200 years they have been running every man's i have got first edition in my grandfather's library there and uh, and they are beautiful even penguin has produced little pocket book editions so uh, in konkani all our romances in konkani all our romances are actually pocket editions they are not heavy fat big books we must explore those that format more in the future that's sar ko engineer ko lelo sar ko engineer ko but uh, you know what jose you know what i have actually got a confession to make let me do it online i i asked you for 10 copies of your short story book and i have not paid you for them as yet okay so <laughs> if i can if, we, if i can locate them either i pay you the money or i'm going to sell it to you back in black okay you take yeah, the yeah, choice yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, because you book. want copies of it now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, but it's true. It's true. What I said is largely true, ninety percent true, except the last joke. I can sell them in. I can sell them in black now. I can yeah, black market yeah. them. See, that's the problem. Now people want your book when it's out of print. That's the problem in Goa. Sorry, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Video Bab Sang Tat Sang. Yes. Which book select? Or what? Miller. I'll select a book uh, from. Uh, रविन्द्र बाब केकर विच इज नेम्ड एज कशाय मधुर तो बोलो ग्रीन कलर चो हार्डबॉन्ड बुक आता तो कशाय मधुर एंड इट्स फेंटास्टीक एनेकडोट्स लाइक रियल लाइफ स्टोरीज हेपनींग सुढ़े एक वाचू कश दिता को सवयूच रविन्द्र बाब केकर खादी लगली इतना बरे बरता तो 
आम्ही रातचं सध्या एक दोन दोन पेजी आम्ही वाचपाचे आणि इतले बरे दिसतात इट रिअली गुड बुक कशाय मधून बाय दे रवींद्र बाब केळेकर सगळी पुस्तकं सेंट्रल लायब्ररीन वयर मांडून दौरल्या सध्या पळोवपास खूप असा त्याची ती तीस एक असा ती सगळी ते आता हा मधी मध्ये गेलो की चालटा बसून बसून बरे दिसतात वाचपास ते आणि तो बरोबरची त्याची शैली वेगळी असा ती वाचू कशी दिसतात सगळी पुस्तक आणि हा ऑफ द एक्सपिरियन्स सांगपचे म्हणार विथ दिस चिल्ड्रन्स बुक्स वी आर पब्लिशिंग आम्ही आता एक कसा एक्सपेरिमेंट केला हे बुक कोण विकत घेता म्हणून केन्ना विकत घेतले आपण खबर ना सो वॉट वी हॅव स्टार्टेड इज वी हॅव सेंट सिलेक्टेड लेटर्स टू वेरियस स्कूल्स इन गोवा आस्किंग देम फॉर सिलेक्टिंग ओनली वन स्टुडंट इन देअर स्कूल टू वूम वी विल सेंड अ बुक फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट इच मंथ सो असे आम्ही दर महिन्यात शंभर पुस्तकात धाडटा असे एका वर्षात आम्ही कितले झाले एक हजार दोनशे पुस्तकात धाडटा फुडल्या वर्ष आयले की ना न्यू भुरग्याक सिलेक्ट करता आम्ही आणि लास्ट वर्षाचा भुरगो असा तो कंटिन्यू असे आम्ही ज्या भुरग्याक स्टार्ट केल्या नाही ते सात वर्ष आम्ही त्या दर महिन्यात एक एक पुस्तक धाडटले फ्री जे आम्ही फ्री म्हणजे कॉम्प्लिमेंटरी फ्री फ्रॉम अवर कित्याक धाडटले की आमका दिसता की ताच्या घरा समज पुस्तक पावले जर त्या वाचपाची रिडिंग हॅबिट लागतली असे म्हणून आम्ही त्याचं सुरुवात केल्या करपास सो दिस इज अवर अनदर प्रोजेक्ट तातून किती झाले आम्ही हे असे करता म्हणून आम्ही म्हटले सगळ्यां गवर्नमेंटाक सांगूया असे म्हणून आम्ही गोवा गवर्नमेंटाक एक लेटर धाडले की असे असे आम्ही करता वाय डोंट यू स्पॉन्सर सम बजेट वेर इन इच स्टुडंट विल गिव्ह गेट अ बुक तुम्ही हरशी म्हणून कितलेशेच म्हणजे तसे भरूना आम्ही पण आम्ही असे भरले की आम्ही असे चित्ता हरशी हजारो करोडो रुपया तुम्ही स्पेंड करता दिस इव्हेंट दॅट इव्हेंट आमच्या खात्री असे पुस्तका भुरग्यांक की घरा पावचे म्हणून जर तुम्ही मिनिमम किती बजेट दवरले आणि असे पब्लिशरांक सिलेक्ट करून सांगले की बाबा एका पुस्तका घरा धाड म्हणून जर कितली क्रांती जातली गोयान किंवा गोवा इज नॉट अ बिग स्टेट नी असे करपा इझिली लहान बजेटान जाऊ शकता प्रत्येका घरा बुक पाहू शकता आणि गोवा गव्हर्मेंटान स्पॉन्सर केला असे जाऊ शकता असे म्हणून आम्ही लेटर धाडली कोणाक धाडली चीफ मिनिस्टर्स ऑफ इच स्टेट गोयात धाडली आणि कोणाक महाराष्ट्राक धाडली आणि कोणाक धाडली आणि पंजाबाकूय धाडली आम आदमी पार्टी सो आम आदमी पार्टी कडे आयजूच आमकां मेल आयल्या की वी आर इंटरेस्टेड इन दिस स्कीम पंजाब गव्हर्मेंट आम आदमी पार्टी वी आर इंटरेस्टेड इन दिस स्कीम अँड प्लीज समबडी सम रिप्रेझेंटेशन तुम्ही आमकां दियात गिव्ह अस अ डेमो अँड वी वुड लाईक टू टेक इट फॉरवर्ड सो इट इज ग्रेट द गव्हर्मेंट इज टेकिंग व्हेरी नाईस येस सो दॅट इज समथिंग दिनेश बाब दिनेश बाब लिओनॉर्ड विल कम बॅक टू यु डोंट वरी दॅस टाइम दिनेश बाब बुक आणि एक्सपिरियन्स ना तू म्यूट म्यूट असा अनम्यूट कर आणि उलय ना अजून जाऊ ना आवाज येऊ ना तू म्यूटाचे रा दिनेश बाब ओके 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 नाव ओके माय फेवरेट बुक इज फिशकरी अँड राईस विच आय गॉट वेन वेन आय वॉज इन कॉलेज आणि चंद्रकांत केणी हु मेनी बुक्स आणि तर गोयचे मन खूप पुस्तक आय कॅन आय वोंट बी एबल टू नेम ओनली वन बुक बट वोल ऑफ इज रायटिंग वॉज मोस्टली सेंटर्ड अराउंड गोवा ग्रेट रायटर आय वुड से ताचे पुस्तक रिप्रिंट जाऊपची गरज असा किंवा ताची सगळी पुस्तक आउट ऑफ प्रिंट झाल्या गडे संजना पब्लिकेशन मे टेक अप द इशू समटाईम आणि एज फार एज पब्लिशिंग इज कन्सर्न्ड माय एक्सपिरियन्स आय एम एन्जॉईंग पब्लिशिंग इन कोकणी <laughs> thanks thanks for the compliment all of us all uh, of us appreciate what it takes all of us i'm sure all of us appreciate what it takes yeah but uh, i always feel that even others should come forward to uh, publish kokni books khub dana kadin capacity asa the publishers of pachi and i feel they should come what is lacking what is lacking in taking that last lacking, uh, lacking i feel तांक धीर जायना गट्स जायना की दुसऱ्याचे पुस्तक आपण पब्लिश करचे स्वतःचे पुस्तक पब्लिश करतात पण ताजे बरोबर एक आपुलकेन कोकणीची कोकणी चळवळीचो एक भाग म्हणून दुसऱ्याचे पुस्तक आपण पब्लिश करचे हो विचार तांचे तकले घेना हांवे एक दोग जाणा म्हणून पळले 
म्हाका फालतू रिजन्स मेळटा आपल्या कडेन दवरपा जागो ना आणि कि पण से आज प्रिंट ऑन डिमांड आयिल्या यू नीड नॉट हॅव द स्पेस टू स्टोर द बुक्स तुका जितली पुस्तक जाय यू कॅन ऑर्डर विद इन एट डेज दे आर रेडी फॉर यू अशी जेन्ना क्रांती आज प्रिंटिंगांक जाल्या ताजो फायदो घेऊन अदर पब्लिशर्स हु आर सेल्फ पब्लिशर्स दे शुड हॅव कम फॉर्वर्ड अशी म्हणजे मेसेज या सगळ्या सेल्फ पब्लिशर्सांक की समबडी हॅज टू कॅरी द बॅटन हा कितले वर्ष फुडली एक जाता सर करतो घडये फाल्यां कोणा कडेन हँड ओव्हर करतो पण ही जी हे आसा तुगेली आम्ही ताका पालखी म्हणतात ती चलत उरपा जाय कोकणीची चड करून आणिक पब्लिशिंग शूड नेवर स्टॉप बिकॉज ऑफ एनी रिजन्स इट शूड गो ऑन अँड गो ऑन आज जरी आम्ही म्हणे की भुरगी वाचनात प्रिंट प्रिंट केलेली पुस्तकं वाचनात दे मे बी रिडिंग ऑन अँड्रॉइड फोन ऑर ऑन देअर लॅपटॉप्स अँड ऑल बट अ डे विल कम वन्स अगेन ऑल दीज रिडर्स विल कम बॅक टू द प्रिंट प्रिंटेड बुक्स and i am sure about it kira western uh, <coughs> sorry western world uh, some of them they have started again uh, to read printed books and that will again i am sure that will come to india also so there should not be a wait too many time that there are no printed books so we should keep on printing the books i am of that opinion and with that intention and it a mission mujhe to publish kokni books so तुमचे सगळ्याचे आशीर्वाद जाय टू गो अड व्हेरी गुड थँक्यू बट यु नो मिस्टर मानेरकर हॅज कम व्हेरी क्लोज टू वॉट आय वॉज वॉट आय ऑलवेज फील इन माय माइंड दॅट वी नीड लोकल पब्लिशर्स टू डू लोकल बुक्स वी कॅन नॉट वेट फॉर समवन इन बॉम्बे डेल्ली लंडन लिस्बन टू पब्लिश बुक्स ऑन गोवा इट्स नॉट गोन टू बी बायबल इट्स नॉट गोन टू बी वर्थ इट सो सो यु नो आर बुक्स वी हॅव टू पब्लिश इट इज वर्थ द स्ट्रगल इट इज वर्थ द स्ट्रगल Pantaleo is still waiting to tell his list and after that I will narrate a short story maybe to wind up but there is space for anyone to say anything please don't let me use a gelotin unnecessarily I just thought in case some of you are strapped for time or something but I am not in a hurry Pantaleo sorry Leonard has to give his list Leonard has to give his list Okay caught 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 him Okay uh, <laughs> Pantaleo give Pantaleo go first then Leonard will yeah. I give an experience uh, when I was making my book on uh, 100 I mean on uh, traditional occupations of Goa uh, one or uh, lot of people were very enthusiastic uh, when I used to interview them and some of them like I went to a copper copper manufacturer in Margaon he said what you are going to write a uh, write about us and he said uh, you are going to bring us in, into the high limelight and the government will come and charges more taxes just just get out of my shop and never show a face again he said that was one experience that i was that second experience was when i went to sopde to study the making of the local jaggery uh, first they thought i had come to buy it so they took me in and then i said i want to take some photographs and i said photographs are you going to write about the process so they also told me to get out because they were not following the traditional means of uh, doing the jaggery and there was a lot of uh, mixing of the this jaggery and that jaggery and the whole thing comes out as a local jaggery so they did not want that to come out but i did trace a person in khandepar who made a actual jaggery and uh, they said oh if you if we tell you your secret tomorrow you will start making the jaggery and we will uh, run out of business so please uh, that's said oh please uh, make your service case so that was these were the experiences of my traditional occupations but then after going through these are just a few there are many more but after going through it i am told by uh, kepe college central library that this book has is one of the most used books by the students and it has been reduced to rags and then uh, all the pages are torn because every student asks for this book for their research papers etc so that makes me feel good but unfortunately no fresh orders are coming and of course i don't have uh, i don't have the copies they got sold out long back but to encourage me to do another uh, edition uh this people should get back which they don't get back they are uh, satisfied with the tone books etc whatever as far as uh, 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 list is concerned uh, uh, the list is long so i won't get into it but i'll give a small incident i go to leonard's shop off and on to pick some books here and there and i always see other books and i pick other books there always but recently i picked a book on uh, uh, called history indian history of the world uh, for children 
so i thought this book is a good book for for, for my child so i put it at home my child rejected it outright but i opened the book and i'm finding it so fantastic it's a uh, giving a lot of information heavy information in a very light way and i actually read it to relax and i learn so much so this this thing like you don't go for this you pick it for somebody else and then you read it yourself so this was an interesting thing that i noticed and so i also keep my books in various places where people don't expect books when they come to a bookshop the budget of people to buy books is very small but when they go to a gift shop uh, the, the budget is big so i keep in some gift, gift shops and uh, the book sell recently i just got a call from a book shop from a gift shop saying that you have five books with you one of the books and it cost 2000 bucks and they, within they just bought it somebody came and picked five books so my books sell not in bookshops but in other outlets so whenever uh, i see the potential i just speak to them and uh, yeah so these are the few experiences my book list is long and i don't think i can justify by mentioning a few favorites though i still read my old chandramamas and my old ramachandra not ramachandra my old indrajal copies i still read when i am absolutely in need of relaxation i just pick my indrajal which i had bought when i was a child and i still read it again and i still enjoy it so that is my <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Frederick, that's all. Great, fantastic, fantastic. Any last words? Any famous last words on famous last words? Feel free. Open, open, open minute, everyone, or more than a minute if you want. Please say anything that we left out because I was unfair to some people. Dinesh uh, joined us after a bit of a delay, so he didn't get enough time, and. Uh, Aditya is looking very tired after I know his day starts very early unlike us guys and Leonard had a event in the evening which he will tell us a word about and then last words to everyone please how did your event go Leonard it went well so we were not expecting that kind of an attendance you know our shop is also small but it went well and the children are okay the kids are okay the they are reading they are writing they are writing quite well i think we need to move we need to move beyond certain stereotypes that we have created in our mind about children not writing attention spans i think kids are writing i was i was i was i was actually telling you only frederick in our in our generation also not everybody was reading not everybody was writing so it's not like you know everybody needs to read and everybody needs to write uh, so but the kids are reading and the kids are writing and uh, we had about 20 people reading out and about 10 or 12 were kids so i think uh, it was nice to see that they are excited about taking part in events like this so um I think for me that was the biggest takeaway that the kids are okay. You all are doing a great yeah. job, Leonard. Can because, I? Uh, yeah, because uh, you know having all these events is also pushing the bar for others to perform better. I would also like to to say two things to note the contribution, particularly yeah, of. Uh, had a point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming. No, I'm not no. finishing. No, uh, uh, just to add, just to just to to note the contribution of people like Norma Alvarez, who started the first Goa bookshelf in the 80s. with claude with claude alvarez uh, she used to run the book show and he was running uh, other india press and of course khalil whom i was taking some snarky comments against but we are great friends and uh, he he has done a great job of uh, opening up goa with book exhibitions and now with broadways and all that he both he and fahim were supposed to be here i think a little bit of busy thing schedule and uh, uh, khalil is also a little bit uh, worried about technology and things like that so if it was earlier maybe he would have been here anyway sorry uh, over to you jose uh yeah continuing what on what leonardo was talking about children reading books and expressing themselves i had once uh, conducted a kind of chap book making workshop at uh, sujatha's bookworm library just explain okay, what a chap book is just explain what a chap book a chap book a chap book is a small little book made out of just one or two pages sheets of paper you can take one sheet of a4 size or two sheets of a4 size paper and 
fold it and you know have the content in that staple it and you've got a chapbook poetry used to be published chapbooks for hundreds of years and it's still being published in chapbook format so i had this thing where around a bunch of almost eight or ten kids were given uh, these paper and cut uh, scissors and uh, staplers and all that and they had to draw and write stories and finally when i collected all these little chapbooks that those children had written i was so stunned and so moved by those few lines that they had written about you know forming a story and the illustrations that they made and the originality of what they wrote i was so moved and touched by that that i collected all those chapbooks and i've kept them with me over the last uh, you know almost 10 or 12 years they are with me in my collection of books because they are a kind of tribute and testimony to the tremendous creativity of children and how they can put across those ideas in a small book composed of just one sheet of a4 size paper they drew with pencil and did colorings they wrote a few lines on each of those pages a4 size means you get just eight pages eight tiny little pages the one front cover one back cover so you've got six pages to write inside and yet they express their stories so well inside that this is hope for the future you know children books we have to keep working on them like what leonard is doing making them re read or having readings keeping them because they are the future let's not worry too much about the teenagers of today or the young adults of today they'll catch on but the smallest kids they are the ones who are the future of books and reading and we've got to nurture them and cultivate that reading habit with, with them that's that's my closing note <laughs> last words to aditya and uh, dinesh take your time nothing to say all the best uh, we are happy to have all and lot of things are uh, talked about today so yes uh, almost uh, we have taken the notes and this is these are good uh, food for thought for everyone hmm. thank you lena thank you fredrik right. bab Dinesh for Bhav. organizing these things i have learned from all of you all i am grateful i am so grateful pun dinesh acha thoda kide little some some any uh, yeah, yeah. i was uh, this was a uh, nice way i would have an webinar on translation translations that are being done and how they are published is a very serious issue am uh, chik goya kuch translations sir she published sign in tamil What is that is one of the reason because we are not being we are not getting ourselves translated in other Indian languages or foreign languages. Uh, the other people other than Goa they don't know how much uh, capacity our writers have and uh, our quality of our uh, literature I would say. But the circumstances are such that. ट्रांसलेशन करपास्तान जाएना पब्लीश कर हजेर एक वेबिनार जाओ अच्छा it doesn't look like but thank you so much thank you also to rajeshri who who had some problem technical problem but really grateful to all of you and let's keep this going next topic translation sol dinesh bab tu ma so tujhe so fai ta ta all the best good night good yeah, night thank, everyone thank you bye yeah night bye